Carol O'Foury. Weekdays, 9 a.m. till 12. East Coast Radio. All right, so welcome to your Wednesday. Uh, so excited it's a Wednesday because we get to sit down with phenomenal women and just be encouraged to keep chasing life, right? Keep chasing dreams, keep chasing. And today is no different. We look for trailblazers in different industries and bring these ladies on to encourage us. And today we've got the beautiful Nox Magwaza. She's a serial entrepreneur and a seasoned marketing professional. She's the founder and MD of an award-winning marketing and advertising agency called Bloom Marketing and digital agency called Bloom Infinite. Now, Knox is the founder and is, a, is the founder and business coach at uh, Bloom Inside Out. She's a staunch woman advocate and a well-recognized business leader who has recently launched an ebook called Born to Bloom. And her motto is keep blooming because blooming is the only evidence of life. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Nox Magwaza, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. It is awesome to be here at East Coast Radio, not for an event, yes, not for um, anything else, but to really have a fantastic chat with you. Oh, I'm Another excited. winning woman. It's winning Women's Wednesday. Listen, on the eve of <laughs> Women Month. We're no? ushering it in properly. <laughs> properly. Speaking about properly, if you want to watch us properly, we live on Facebook, so please do join us. Your whole motto and your whole idea is around driving women and people in general to their purpose and fulfilling that purpose. Yeah. Please talk to us about how you, you ended up in this space of purpose-driven life. Okay, maybe I need to go as far back as 20 years when yeah. I started my business, Bloom Marketing. Um, I still pinch myself that it's 20 years wow. of blooming. And so I was in corporate and working for a big U around the corner from here. Yeah. And it was about eight years into it. And I really identified a gap in the market in that the marketing industry wasn't as transformed as it should be. And without even knowing much about diversity, equity, and inclusivity, I yeah. mean, now I'm like a DEI advocate. Um, I really stepped out and I said to the CEO, I think I need to be on the other side of the fence to help our brands connect better and meaningfully, memorably um, with the consumers we are serving in South Africa because the agencies at that time were very European. Um, that means their creativity and their ideas were very Eurocentric. Mm -hmm. And how do you connect meaningfully and serve the community where you are operating without you understanding that community well? Right. And so that's how Blue Marketing um, started. And it wasn't just about the racial um, inclusivity in creative ideas. It was also about the gender voice mm. in the creative space. Right. And so we started blooming and before we know it we were winning these awards and i realized okay so we're onto something here yeah we really want to diversify that voice and the creative influence that the marketing and advertising space offers us in 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 our community and in the province before we know it it was around the country out of the country so we've been blooming proper <laughs> because of purpose and I've and I really obviously at that time didn't say I'm stepping out because of purpose but as I studied and became a student of purpose and mm. meaning behind the work that I do I realized I'm actually giving permission for other women to step in the same space right. I'm giving permission for black creatives to really be confident in the work they do as African creatives mm -hmm. um, and I'm also giving space for them to find employment because they were not being plugged in these agencies right. um, and so I've just fully embraced the space and obviously mostly for women and youth um, <laughs> yes. and yeah so that's that's how I got here I love that why the word bloom as your your, your, your business yeah. name and yeah. your, your everything you know, I truly believe that we as human beings are evergreen mm. whilst alive. Really, when I say blooming is the only evidence of life, whilst you're alive, yeah. you have a seed and within you that is so great. You have a gift within you that you can multiply. You have um, greatness within you that you can impact communities around you with. Yeah. And so I'm f so fascinated and passionate about growth. And so Bloom is speaking to that to say, right. if we nurture and we grow what matters, we will ever, we'll forever be seeing the fruits and the blooming um, out of that in terms of what we do. Um, and so that's for me is to literally say every person 
can't look down upon themselves and can't think small of themselves because there's something that only they can do in this world. Wow. So your creative idea is just as valuable and needs to be heard as much as your story is just as incredible and it can actually change someone's life. Oh, powerful. We are hanging out with Nox Magwaza. She is blooming with us here in studio. Uh, send us your questions if you have 061-792-9495. We're going to take a short break and we're coming back with more from her. We, it's the eve of Women's Month. I want that yeah. inspirational message for the ladies. Perfect. I want the, 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 the resilience and the, the, the sass mm-hmm. to step out of corporate and say, yeah. I'm doing this. Because so many of us want yeah. to do our own things. Yeah. We want to step out of what we, the conformity of this life. This face, yeah. Right? Mm. But we're too scared. No, and and fear you. takes all our joys. Yeah. So ponder on that. We're going to get shall, the answers next, right? That's coming up. Carol O'Foury. On KZN's number one hit music station, if you're just joining us. Ooh, you're just in time. You missed a little bit, though. We have our beautiful guest in studio, Nox Magwaza. It's all about blooming and finding your purpose and living your purpose. Um, and uh, we've been learning more about her for a bit of background. She's the founder and MD of an award-winning marketing and advertising agency called Bloom Marketing and digital agency called Bloom Infinite. She's a staunch advocate for women and she's also got an e-book titled Born to Bloom. Now, Knox, you said to me off air, you don't wake up to an alarm, you wake up to purpose. That's right. Talk to me about that. Listen, when you're burning with this passion and you're burning with this... um, fire to be the change that you've always wanted to see, whether in your industry, in your own company, in your own business, um, you don't snooze. Mm. You literally can't wait to step up and literally just show up and and be this uh, blooming great person yeah. that you, you, you've you always dreamt of being. And I always think that fear stands in the way a lot of people, for a lot of people, yeah. to live their purpose. But also we don't pause to say, what is the meaning of what I'm doing? Yeah. And how am I investing my time, my expertise and my experience in my company, in my industry, in my community for the greater good? Mm-hmm. And so just as we come off the, the voting, I say, how are you going to bloom beyond the ballot? Mm-hmm. You know, so it's about igniting that purpose led um, entrepreneur. It, it, when we look at government and we look at big business and we say they should affect the change, they should be change agents and they should solve our problems. But entrepreneurs love problems. Yeah. So And they start businesses because they love problems. They have a grand why behind their businesses. And so it's about saying, don't just do it for Mandela Day. Mm. Don't do it for Mandela Month. Every single day, how are you serving? Who will you serve? And, and make sure that what you do brings that legacy and leaves that legacy of positive and then we would say we have lived right now about a week ago or so you hosted a purpose event yeah. and it was called leading in purpose yeah. right yeah talk to us about leading in purpose so leading with purpose, with purpose that's it. is literally actually saying who am i going to serve today Mm. is asking yourself every day, who am I going to serve? It can be your customers, yes. And I always say it starts with obviously the grander purpose of you as a person based on your giftings and your mm. abilities and your experience and expertise. And it goes perhaps to family. If you're a family, you serve your family every day, right? We work so hard for um, our better lives and mm. a legacy, financial legacy we want to create. But beyond that, there's work purpose, you know, so there's lots of corporates who found purpose. And what's been identified and seen over the period of almost 10 years is that corporate companies and brands that are hinged to purpose over and above, obviously, profit and not actually prioritizing profit only, they accelerate and grow 65% ahead of those that don't have purpose. Mm. Now, if you take that as an individual, wouldn't you then take time to activate your own purpose, to discover your own purpose? And how so do you we can do that? You, How do you, we do you that? take time. You reflect on what you're passionate about, yeah. which areas really keep you awake and, uh, and, and awake at night, mm-hmm. problems of the world that you want to own. And you may start with the Sustainable Development Goals, SDG Goals. And you may start with maybe diversity, equity, and inclusivity um, goals within the community or the industry. Yeah. So find that space that only you can impact positively with the magic that only belongs to you. Mm. And that's how you show up and lead with purpose because you look at your zone of genius and you say, how can I serve this world better with the great the great that I have within me? It's crazy you say that because some of us may already be living the purpose, yes, but, you're not but we aware. didn't have the words to yeah. define what it is, right? It's about articulating the purpose. That way wow. you are going to be so deeply convicted. And yeah. when you are operating with conviction, 
conversion will happen. Yo, in your I'm life. just realizing these purposes I've been <laughs> doing here, but uh, I didn't know it was a purpose. <laughs> articulated, boss lady, and you activate it every day. Right. And so the event was about discovery, articulating, and activating ourselves mm. for grand purpose and meaning behind our lives so no one should walk around thinking my life is good for nothing never never there's something great and phenomenal within each and every one of us take time to do that september is going to be great and phenomenal with bloom you say you have something coming up yes it's going to be exciting so when you've discovered your purpose yeah we say it's the best foundation to build your blooming brand because that's what drives you every day, despite challenges, despite anything that could stand as a hurdle in front of you, mm. you will wake up and you will go and do it. So mm. if you want to build a brand that is impactful, a brand that is consistently blooming, a brand that will also build your own prosperity while you're impacting others, join us in September at Bloom Inside Out. You'll get all the details on Instagram. And what I love about what you're saying is that a lot of us don't see our individual selves as brands. Yeah. And yet we are. You right? are. Powerful. Rory as an individual self is a brand. That's right. He comes looking a certain way. He but fantastic holds every day. in a certain way. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and that's so important. Yes. Brings me to my next one. What is your advice to our beautiful woman? We're stepping into Women's Month tomorrow. Yeah. What is your advice? My advice is women need to really dig deeper, mm. journey within, mm. and realize that they're not second, secondary citizens, mm. that there is something that we bring that only this particular gender mm. can bring into the workspace from being able to intuitively feel things that other the other gender can feel mm -hmm. and then bring that into the boardroom, bring that into your business, bring that into the community organization that you run. So as women, I think we, we are not only just fertile for procreation, mm. we are the fertile ground for ideas. Yes. And if you really want to grow something, that. you really want something to flourish and bloom, plant the seed with a woman. Yeah. So for women, for us to just rise up in that power of knowing we are multipliers mm. Go in every way. And impact this world positively with the feminine energy. Don't shut it down. Don't apologize for it. Bring out the feminine fire. Bring out the feminine fire. This blooming world. We're kicking off uh, Women's Month tomorrow. Yeah. And our theme is what is your dream? What is your dream, Knox? My dream, Carol. My dream is that each person would wake up and step out of bed with exactly that fire of saying, there's something I'm here to deliver. Mm. There's something great that I need to give this world. If there's only two days that are important in this world, it's the day you were born and the day you discover your purpose. Mm. And when we show up on purpose, we are truly successful. Mm. Don't define success as a level or an, a title that will change. Don't define that based on what the corporate company or workspace is able to give you. Mm. You can elevate yourself, your position, your power. Your position, your purpose. Your position, your impact. So lead with purpose every day. Leading with purpose. She's got a big event coming September at Knox Bloom Social Media, at Bloom Marketing, at Blooming Inside Out. Knox, it's phenomenal to have sat with you. Time is never enough. I know. It's never <laughs> enough. But I'm so grateful. Thank you so, so much. Uh, Thank your you. website is where we can find you. Let's um, stick to bloominsideout.co.za so you can get to see my purpose work there. But if you want, obviously, to see our marketing work, it's bloommarketing.co.za. Nox Magwaza, everybody. Thank you once again. Keep blooming, darling. Thank you. Carol O'Foury, weekdays 9am till 12, East Coast Radio.